Good day everyone and welcome to a special edition of Space Engineers. So today we are going to look at those pesky air leaks. Now you may be thinking, you've been wandering around, you have no idea where it is, you've looked around everywhere and you have no idea. You basically just have exhausted every avenue. You've checked all the corners, you've checked every single nook and cranny, you've made sure that you've got airlocks, you're completely sealed. How do you find that leak? Well, there's an easy way to do that with the overlay mod or the build info mod. So if you go into your editor vent, and this can be accessed from basically anything. So you can go into the K menu, the control panel, and take a look at any air vent. And you go into here, you can see that there's an air leak status is ready. The room is not pressurized. So if you click on this to find it, it finds the leak and it displays it. So you go back to your air vent and you go, oh, And there's your air vent, your leak. That's it. That is it. This is this is like the literal single-handed best item that you could ever ask for in a game. And it is telling you everything that you need to know. Another thing that this build and fill mod is good for. Well, actually, let's show you what happens when you eventually fill it up. So let's get our block back in place. And you can see that it's all done and you go into the K menu and it shows you that the area is sealed. So you have no worries about that. Okay. Let's look at one other thing here. Let's get out of here and let's bring me here. So let's find out where the blocks are actually sealed. So you take a look at this one. This is what you're used to seeing something similar to this. You can see a block and it's just going to show you regular patterns. If you hit control and plus, it will show you air tightness and specialization. So you can see the blue areas, the blue areas are where you're actually going to find um, all the air tightness. So let's go to eight. You can see that the girders make sense. The air will travel right through it uh, and is airtight right on the edges. More complicated blocks. Let's take a look at, for example, uh, a bed. So a bed that kind of makes sense. Um, sealed in certain areas. Uh, let's take a look at this big gravity thing. This doesn't have any seals. So you'd think that at the bottom here it might be sealed in the center block. It is not. So don't be surprised when you find stuff like that. Certain things like, let's see, uh, where is it now? The reactor doesn't have any seals whatsoever. So you have to be very careful uh, with these sort of things. And it'll show you now, even the vent itself, as you can see, um, was only sealed on the back of the block. So the sides are or there. One last thing that I wanted to show you is the conveyors. These actually are sealed on the regular sides. So you can see just the regular sides there. Um, they're all flat. So the flat edges as such, as you can see, they are sealed. Um, but these sides are not. Now, one thing to also note is that air tightness, even if you have like a wall, say like that the air will flow through here into the other side and out here so this is potentially a cause for some air tightness issues so another way that you can get around that or there's two things that you could do you could treat yourself let's get the overlays off for a second here uh conveyor junction that is completely airtight as you can see from the air tightness there is uh, airtight all the way around. So that is one way to do it. Um, another way to do it, let's say you have to put, you want to put those conveyors all the way through. You can basically simply rotate it away. And let's say you have a wall here. That will seal it up as well. As you can see that the air tightness will hit that wall and that will block all the air from coming. So you can have a tight corridor in this area sort of thing here. Uh, and while we're at that, the build info also shows you the connection points. So like, let's say you wanted to build this uh, T-junction, but you're building it here and you can't quite see exactly where the points are. If you keep hitting control plus, it will show you in 3D space, those yellow circles or yellow squares where each of those connection points are. So let's say you wanted to build something here but you wanted to make sure that the port was to the back. You can't really see the difference between these two, but you can see that this is showing you the port is in the back. So anyways, that's, uh, that's a quick little um, 
airtight tutorial. Hopefully that helps you. It has been a lifesaver for me and uh, I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. But uh, thank you very much for coming about and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.